Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our Poppy Playtime character concept series. So in today's video, the character we're looking into is Scrubby Dubby Duck. So we'll look into this character's gameplay mechanics, their location, their backstory, and all that good stuff as well. As always, I will just state that everything I say in these videos isn't necessarily linked to the overall universe and lore of Poppy Playtime. This is just a fun what if scenario and a cool creepy story we get to tell and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GamerTube as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Alrighty, well, let's get into the character concept of Scrubby Dubby Duck. So far in our Poppy Playtime character concept series, we've seen a wide range of what if toy characters that could be lurking around the Playtime Co. factory. So far, we've seen many strange looking characters in the Huggle Wuggle family. We've also seen a number of different variations in the robotic characters. There's also been a number of interesting dino characters. And then there's the classic toys. Each of these classic toys has their own custom design, backstory, and gameplay mechanic. But now we ask the question, what if Playtime Co. made another classic yet simplistic toy character? What if they made their very own version of the Humble Rubber Duck? What would it be called? What would its twisted, monstrous version look like? And more importantly, where in the factory would this creature be lurking? So let's answer the first question. The Playtime Co. version of the classic Rubber Duck would be named Scrubby Dubby Duck. This cute yellow rubber duck is typically designed for the younger demographic. So, not only was this rubber duck made especially to be a bath toy, but it also had a secondary use. On Scrubby's back, there was a small cap that could be opened. The user would be able to fill up Scrubby with whatever liquid soap or shampoo that they liked. Then, all they had to do was squeeze Scrubby's body, and it would dispense the soap out of their bill. It was quite an ingenious toy idea, and proved to be quite successful. Scrubby Dubby Duck was one of the few toys that was still being sold today. At one time, they were one of the most popular bath toys in the country. But now, they're not so popular. Like all the other toys, they remain a distant memory of the past. So now, let's get into their location and puzzle elements that go along with it. So whilst wandering around the factory, our protagonists would eventually find themselves in the underground basement of Playtime Co. There would be a specific door that the player needs to get through on the upper level. And the only way to open it would be to activate it from the generators down in the basement area. They find the entrance to the basement and climb down the ladder. This area is cold, dark, and damp. As they reach the bottom, they realize that they're waist deep in water. Where did all this water come from? The player slowly walks through the water and heads out to find these generators. As they venture through this creepy flooded basement, they eventually see what caused all the flooding. They can see a large water storage tank with many bite marks in it. They wondered what could have ruptured the water tank. It looked like it was done some time ago. Maybe it was Huggy Wuggy who bit it whilst chasing down some poor workers. There doesn't seem to be any way to shut it off. Water slowly trickles out as it fills up the basement. It shouldn't fill up this area any more than it already has. So they decided to leave it and move on. The further they go, it appears that the water is getting deeper and deeper. Right now, the water is up to their chest. Any deeper and they'd have to swim. The water is still and motionless. But in the distance, they can hear subtle splashes and ripples. They hope that nothing is down here with them. They need to move quickly before they find out what's lurking down in this basement. The area they find themselves in is now completely flooded. The player has to swim through the water to move forward. There's three ways that they can traverse through the water. They can swim on top. Or while swimming on top, they can use their grab hands to grab onto anchor points and propel themselves faster through the water. And lastly, if they dare to, they can swim under the water and see what's down below. But like most games, there would also be a limited air meter whilst underwater. 
after swimming through this area, they come to their first generator. Luckily, it's on a higher platform out of the water. They climb on up and use their grab shock ability to activate the first generator. One down, two more to go. As they enter the water, it appears that something else has as well. They look behind them and see floating in the water a large monstrous version of Scrubby Dubby Duck. They remembered this toy. They used to have one as a kid. But where did this large twisted creature come from? And this wasn't anything like their childhood toy. This Scrubby Dubby was dirty, withered, and had dark hollow eyes. Their bill was filled with jagged sharp teeth and a strange green liquid drips from their mouth. Before the player makes their next move, out from their bill sprays a terrible green liquid. It narrowly misses the player and sprays on the wall. The wall starts to erode and rot away. Whatever was spraying out of Scrubby's mouth certainly wasn't soap. So in this gameplay segment, the player needs to quickly swim away from this frightening rubber duck. Scrubby will shoot globs of acid at the player as they try to escape. Whenever the player is hit with the acid, it would injure them severely. They would need to quickly swim underwater for a short while and wash off the acid. But swimming underwater would also slow them down, allowing Scrubby to eventually catch up to them. As the player desperately swims through the water and tries to evade Scrubby, they come across the second generator. This time it was on a small work elevator. The player needs to quickly lower it with the grab switch while avoiding the acid spray attacks from Scrubby. Slowly but surely, the generator would start to lower. When it finally does, they activate it and hop back into the water. Two down, one to go. The only thing is, Scrubby Dubby is now in their way. The player would have to look around and see if there was anything that could help them. As Scrubby floats towards them, the player sees a loose piece of rubble above their head. They use their grab pack to grab the loose rubble, causing it to crumble and fall on top of Scrubby. Whilst this creepy rubber duck was temporarily knocked out, this is now their chance to swim past them and find the final generator. As the player frantically swims through the water, they come across a large piece of fallen debris blocking their way. They need to swim under and make their way through the gap in the debris. As they surface, they can see the final generator. The grab switch is on the other side of it. The connection between the two has been severed. In this puzzle segment, the player needs to activate the switch and then quickly use both of their grab hands to complete the connection. The electricity flows through each grab hand and through the grab pack to supply energy to the generator. Finally, the last generator has been activated. The player can finally escape and make their way towards the door. They need to find that ladder and make their way up. They swim back under the debris and make their way towards the ladder. The player can finally see the ladder in the distance. They just need to make it there in one piece. They reach the area where they can finally stand in the water once again. But behind them floats over the evil Scrubby Dubby. This is the last stretch where the player needs to run. They just need to make it to the ladder. Once again the player needs to run away from Scrubby Dubby. They'd be launching the globs of acid towards the player, and they'd have to do their best to dodge them. The player needs to use their grab pack to propel their way up the half-corroded ladder. Finally, they've made it out of that awful area and away from that frightening rubber duck. The player walks through the door that's now unlocked into the next area. Our protagonist then prepares himself for whatever this factory has in store for them next. 
Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, do be sure to comment down below what you thought of Scrubby Dubby Duck and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty, well until the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.